So while the schema describes the structure of the database, the database states or the actual content at a certain moment. In the relational model, tuples are used to formalize table rows. So let's say that we have a relation schema S. So we have an attribute A1 that ranges over domain D1, attribute A2 over domain D2, and so on. Then T is a tuple with respect to this relation schema. If T is a sequence of n values, such that the first value is from the domain D1, the second value is from the domain D2, and so on. So an example of such a tuple is the tuple exam 1 SQL 14. This is a tuple in the relation exercises. And if you have such a tuple, and we have a name of an attribute AI, then we write t.ai for the value of this tuple in the column AI. So for example, looking at this tuple exam 1 SQL 14, if we write dot topic, then this is the value of the column topic referring to SQL. So this is SQL. Let S be a database schema. So it consists of a set of relation names and for every relation name, a relation schema. Then a database state I for the database schema S defines for every relation name RI in the schema, a set of tuples I of RI with respect to the schema, schema RI. So in other words, if we have that the schema of RI is attribute A1 over the main D1, attribute AN over the main DN, then this set of tuples I of RI is a subset of the cross product of the domains D1, T2, T3, up to DN. So I of RI is a relation in the mathematical sense. And Simplified, you can think of the database state just as a set of tables that conform to the database schema S. The difference is that you have to remember that there's no order on the tuples, there's no order on the rows, and the tables do not contain any duplicate tuples. So to summarize, the structure of databases. Every database consists of a number of relations. Every relation consists of a set of tuples, and every tuple holds a number of attribute values. So there is a clear analogy with object-oriented programming. Roughly speaking, the relations correspond to classes in object-oriented programming. You may think of the tuples as objects, and the attribute values as object properties.